West Papuan human rights defender Rosa Moywind was in New Zealand last week, speaking about the need for more countries to challenge Indonesia on its human rights abuses and attempt to isolate West Papua from the rest of the Pacific. She told Pacific Media Watch about developments in rural parts of her country where Indonesian business interests are confiscating customary land for oil palm and agriculture projects. So land has been taken away from, from the indigenous people and then with this massive uh, project on food, uh, uh, food project, this is also kind of the third wave of um, taking people's land without uh, permission. Why do you think countries like Australia and New Zealand aren't doing much to address the situation in West Papua? and ignoring human rights abuses and the suffering of West Papua? I think because uh, New Zealand and Indonesia have very strong diplomatic um, relationship with Indonesia. Uh, economy and trade agreement, that kind of things is also influencing the foreign policies of uh, New Zealand and Australia. And we know that Australia and New Zealand also support the training of military and police officers. Um, I don't have much data about that, but um, from the previous um, information that we received, there are some kind of uh, uh, collaboration on the training of the officers. So I think this is kind of something that um, probably influenced the, the position of New Zealand and Australia. And we know that uh, it's also coming soon that Indonesia will host the Pacific Expo in Auckland, which is my question is, is that, you know, what, what, what is that for? It's a kind of trying to change the way of people look at, looking at the cultural relation. Like it, it seems like uh, the West Papuan are the one who related to the Pacific people, but then Indonesia is kind of replacing that and trying to play the big role as if they are part of the Pacific. I mean, ethnicity, based on ethnicity, um, of course, they are more related to the Asian. And I think it's if they want to use the culture as a way to approach people or approach the leaders in the Pacific, I think... Um, it's, it's very... It's <laughs> most know. insulting. Isn't yeah, it? insulting because, you know, and we are being excluded from all of this. What do you think will happen if countries like New Zealand and Australia continue to ignore human rights abuses and the ongoing suffering of West Papuans? Yeah, yeah I think uh, if, if Indonesia and uh, if New Zealand and Australia never take um, stand for us, and I think it will really uh, bring a long-term suffering for West Papua, especially in their position to Indonesia. If they could just advise Indonesia to look at the human rights situation and working on the human rights situation, I think it will bring some change. Indonesia is a big country, strong in the region, but New Zealand and Australia are also, also big. You know, if you want to show your power, in a good way, just try to support something that related to the human's life. I think that's a, that will bring change. The mainstream New Zealand media doesn't tend to focus very much on the Pacific, or let alone West Papua, apart from a small number of organisations. How do you think uh, we can change that, or what's the role of, of journalists to help the situation? Yeah. I think the role of media is very significant and very important and I think um, we could hear, we could see uh, some progress, um, especially in New Zealand since um, you mentioned Radio New Zealand and also Pacific Media Centres also did a lot of uh, reporting and uh, publishing around the, the situation in West Papua. So I think uh, we need more and more media. Uh, we have some Maori uh, radios also, um, you know, bring the issue into the more uh, Maori audience, which is good because it's kind of also part of building solidarity process. Uh, but we need more and more media, at least the mainstream media. And in order to get that information, sometimes it's maybe they are not well informed. That's my assumption. Or the second thing, maybe they don't have access to get into West Papua. 
So that's why this again is very important uh, for the government of New Zealand, for example, to talk to the Indonesian government that uh, they should open access for media just to show the evidence because Indonesia always said that there is no human rights abuses, the development is going well and this and that. So they need to prove that. So in order to prove that, just open access for the media to come and you know they, they, they can witness themselves.